I've just taken sort of a few examples of some of the items that we've spoken through already. And so the first collection that I'm kind of talking through now is a, in sit, items that sit within the change area. So you can see as I've logged in, I've got a pop up message here and this is a welcome message. Um, so we've got some sort of welcome commentary here uh, for a new starter. Uh, we've got access and we've got a link to our new starter list. Um, we've also embedded a video in here as well, like Mel mentioned earlier on, uh, and also a bit of a nod to some of the activation conditions as well. So um, it says at the bottom, note that this message will only appear the first time you log in. Um, to Oracle. However, this message and the link to the task list can be accessed at any time via the Get Started. Um, they're, they're basically available via the widget. So um, that kind of gives you an idea that we can show these messages to people, you know, when they log in for the first time, um, and then it's available to them via the help widget whenever they need it. We can have it popping up to users every time they log in, and we can have it uh, activated by certain roles as well. So there's lots of flexibilities in how this displays to the end user. So for now, I'm going to click on the done button, and then. I'm going to look at the widget and access that new starter task list that it pointed out before. So that's available here. If I click that open, you can see that we've got all these items here. Um, so items yeah, off system, like collecting your security badge. We can click on links to within this system or to external systems to update information. We can uh, take process um, we can take homepage tours via process guides, and then we can also link out to e-learning as well um, and to external systems. And then we can keep tabs on which items we've done by looking at the green button. So that's a really nice way to use the task list. We've used it as a, an onboarding tool here, but you can use that for anything that you want to do that, you, you know, any particular need that you have. So if I click exit here, and now if I hover over to the add absence, now as a user, I might be coming on here and looking to add an absence. And then I can see this icon sat next to the add absence button. This is a uh, bespoke fudge learn icon. And so if I then look to see what this is telling me, um, as a smart tip here to say that there have been updates to the absence process. And so it's encouraging me to click into the link and then actually look for the, um, complete the uh, training with all the updates to this um, particular process. So if I click on this link, it's actually taken me to uh, some e-learning content. So that's a really nice way to connect the dots uh, between your systems and support users, for, um, providing a, a whole sort of end-to-end -end support experience for them. So if I just come back out of this screen, back into this one again. Okay, so that was our ad absence smart tip. Up here, I've got a, a good example of when you might want to use a beacon to highlight a field or draw attention to it. So we've got it over our news icon up here. So the information that you can put in something like this is you know, completely dependent on your business need. So it could be providing news and updates on general business activity or something more like this, where we are updating users that there have been um, changes following a quarterly update. So this one here is telling people that there's been changes to the procurement area uh, following uh, the 24 update. And so we're pointing them to some navigational overviews uh, to see and uh, so that they can showcase the new functionality and kind of have an overview of that. Um, it also sort of you can use it to provide reminders for any other related activity. So you might have Q&A sessions, drop in sessions or scheduled downtime. So you can put all that information into here. If I were to click on a link from in here, it'll actually take me through to the area that I need to look at. So I'm clicking on that one. It's taking me through to procurement to the right tile and then it will provide an overview it sort of introduce the page and provide an overview of all that new functionality uh, and how it all works so you can kind of see it's introduced in different areas of the page and talking through how you might want to use them i won't go through the whole thing but that gives you a flavor of how that works uh, that 
is also available via this little navigational icon as well. So you can point to the same material in various places. Okay, so putting information in this news icon is a nice way to share information with users um, in a way that they can engage with at their own pace. Uh, but it might be that actually you want to kind of share some um, update, share some information about some updates in a more direct way, uh, in a way that you know and you need to ensure that the users do actually see it. And in that event, you might want to use a pop up message. It's a bit like the one that we started with, the new starter one. Now, this one I'm going to access via the uh, widget, but typically this would be um, auto launched on login, like our new user one. And so again, this is a message here saying that, um, you know, there's been a recent update and it's asking people to uh, access certain links. It's similar sort of as before from the news icon, but asking people to click through and click on these links. Uh, and it's also providing reminders on how to access support or escalate any issues um, that they might have to the business. So another way just to kind of communicate really critical information. Uh, and also via the widget as well at the bottom down here, we have Oracle Business Process Training link. So um, it might be that you only want this link and this content available to certain users or like Mal mentioned before, it might be particularly useful for your project team during the implementation phase. So you might make this available during that phase and then actually turn it off after go live. It's up to you. But again, we can click on this. Um, We've only activated one of the items there, um, but there's a you know whole range of items to choose from. And then that links directly into this very comprehensive um, Oracle process overview uh, and many other pieces of content. So if I just come back. Okay, so that kind of gives you a bit of a flavor of some of the change items that we have. Um, and also we've just picked another area. So I, I'm looking at expenses now and we'll show you a few items um, within that work stream. So if I navigate to the right area. OK, so you saw this icon before as well. So we use this icon to um, provide navigate navigational overviews on various pages throughout the system. Um, and it's particularly good post a Redwood update as well to have something like this to help people um, navigate their way around new pages. So if I click on this one. You can see it's showing me uh, the icons down the side. Telling me how to um, tell me about the search field. It does actually provide instructions on how to engage with the system, key bits of information, and just step by step talking through all the different sections. And you can actually link out to process guides from within here as well. So you can create a link and launch a process guide at this stage um, for the uh, processes that people are most likely to be um, completing once they're on this page. I'll hit done. So that's that. And so that is a process guide um, used as a navigational overview. But just to kind of give you an idea as well as your, for your um, typical process guide. So um, for sort of your key business activity. So on this page, we've got a process guide available to us, which is creating an expense report. If I launch that. I'm going to create an item. Next, and so it's just talking me through piece by piece. Um, I'm going to select mileage here. Hit next. Now, this is a nice example of uh, one of those green policy icons that Mel was discussing earlier. So you can see if I hover over, there's um, green policy reminders, and then you can actually link out to um, various policies that you need as well, like travel policies, green policies within the business. Uh, and actually, this is a good place to show you the Redwood functionality as well. So with the new um, OGL Redwood experience, um, it's it's better than ever, really, because what you can do is you can actually move these tips around as you need to. So, you know, it's always challenging building these in the, in the perfect way for every user, whereas it's no longer an issue now. These Every user can move these tips around uh, depending on what it is that they wish to do and engage with within the screen. 
you can see here that we've got various smart tips um, throughout, but actually uh, it's kind of worth pointing out as well that these are contextual and so they will um, they will change as the, the, the page changes as well. So we had those various um, smart tips up there before, but if I choose a, a different type of item that we need to, to uh, create an expense for, you can see that some of those have disappeared, but then I've got new items down here instead. So it's, um, you know, it's very uh, responsive to what it is that you're looking to complete. Um, so yeah, lots of information here, all ready to go. I hope that kind of gives you a, a flavor of um, some of the experiences that we've created.